Welcome everybody. In this episode we will integrate recoil into our weapon system so we can have bullet spread and visual recoil on the gun. So to start what we need to do is locate the Anon BP. Once you've done that, create three new variables. The first one being recoil and make sure it's of type transform make another one called total recoil so this will be the max recoil our gun can have and empty transform so the gun at no recoil let's just sort these into a nice category let's call that category recoil and let's just create a category for movement and just close that off. So compile that. So head over to the event graph and let's create two new custom events. Let's actually just organize this. Let's call this weapon sway. Okay, so now Let's create a custom event called fire weapon and let's give this an input of the recoil transform. So what's going to happen is we're going to call this custom event in our weapon and feed in the recoil transform from the base weapon. Let's also create a new custom event called stop firing weapon. Okay, so from here, let's just call recoil and let's compose transforms. Drag this down to the bottom with left click and alt. So once you've done that, let's split this structure pin and then let's split the rotation so we can individually access the three axes from here let's vector clamp size max make sure there's max because we need a maximum value and let's just set it to 8 we need to clamp the roll so let's clamp the float value and just copy and paste this three times once you've done that let's use the minimum as minus three and minus two for max let's use minus two and positive two minus three and three once you've done that we can then set this as the total recoil let's split this and split the rotation pin and then feed these in and then just plug total recoil location as vector clamp size max and then let's plug this in now once you've done that let's create a new boolean and we'll call this apply recoil and what this will do is allow us to switch between firing and stop firing our for our recoil so let's just set this to false here but set it to true here because we are firing so just drag that and set and make sure it's true and just drag this into our recoil category so once you've done that what we need to do is actually tell it to fire have a check every time the blueprints updated and we're going to have a branch and we can check if apply recoil was true if it's true let's set our recoil 
so we can update the current recoil so we want to interpolate our recoil from we want to interpolate the current recoil to the max recoil so we can do that by t interp2 so it's going to interpolate the transform from one value to another value so the current will be the current recoil and the target will be the max recoil so in this case total recoil the delta time will just be get word delta seconds and the interp speed is just how fast it's going to interpolate so let's just say at 30 and you can customize these values so this plugs into recoil make sure you plug it into recoil so we can update recoil because recoil is going to be read by our right hand and it's going to modify location and rotation once you've done that we're going to have another check and plug this into false because we may stop firing and we want to bring our weapon back to its original resting position so the way we can do this is by checking if recoil is nearly equal make sure it's of type transform so if recoil is nearly equal to empty transform so the resting pose and this is its tolerance and just leave that as it is actually we could probably set this to 0 0.0005 and 0 0.005 and scale can be left as it is because we are not modifying scale so once you've done that if that's false let's just set recoil to interpolate between recoil interp to empty transform so let's interpolate our current recoil to its resting pose let's just get delta time make sure it's get world delta second sorry and interp speed can be 5 and you can customize this make sure you plug this into recoil so it updates and now once you've done that just check quickly what you've got make sure it's in the sequence so check here if apply recoil is true or false if it's true update recoil if it's false let's check if there is if recoil is nearly equal to empty transform if it's not then just interpolate our recoil to its empty transform now that we have this we actually need to apply our recoil transformation onto our right hand so let's go to our anim graph and let's find our ik let's just drag this along and after left hand location let's get something called transform modify bone so the, the component pose plugs in the alpha remains at one and what we can use is our recoil and this is of type transform but this is split so what we can do is right click and split the pin and then we can just plug in translation and rotation now we need to define a bone so it's going to be hand R because our hand is attached to our right hand socket and if we modify our hand right then the gun also is modified with it in terms of location and rotation so its translation will be add to existing because we don't want to override any current sway or right hand rotation or location we also want it to be in component space and the same for rotation add to existing in component space compile save that 
and scale can be left as it is. Now we actually need to be able to apply this to our gun. We actually need to be able to call the firing function. So let's find base weapon. And in begin play, we need a reference to our FPS and in blueprint. So we can access those functions. So we can do that by casting to ABP underscore FPS arms. And the object pin is going to be our first person character reference. We need to get mesh 2p, which is our arms, and then we need get an instance, which is the animation blueprint. Once you've done that, we can then promote this to a variable and call this as a BP FPS arms. Compile that. And once you've done that, let's go to our firing. So when we fire, we want to play our fire weapon. And you can see we need to fill in a recoil transform but when we stop firing let's call stop firing weapon make sure that's closed now let's just make this a bit bigger okay let's just drag this down Now what we need to do is make transform and let's just use, let's work with floats. So what we can do now is randomize the values that are inputted in here. So let's get random float in range because we want a range, a minimum and a maximum. So let's have minus three and minus one. Let's have 0 0.5 and 1. We don't want x axis because that's left and right. So let's just copy and paste this. Minus 4 and minus 2. And then let's copy and paste again. Let's have minus 3 and positive 3. Plug that into pitch. And lastly, minus 2 and positive 2 and plug that into your and scale is just left that blank now make sure that plugs into recoil transform now once you've done that compile save and just make sure you have stop firing and firing now let's test this out So it's working, but one thing we need to do is, let's go into our content drawer. Let's go into base, blueprints, weapons, and let's change our fire rate. So let's change this from 0 0.2 to 0 0.1. And let's do the same for the AK. Now if we try this now. That looks a lot better. And if we test out the weapon spread, it's in a more disorganized pattern, which makes it a bit harder to play. Overall, it came out good. But that's it for this episode. In the next few episodes, we're going to work on our particle systems.